Isn't that an awesome looking e-scooter? This is, brand name is awesome. And not only that, look how it's spelled. It's spelled with an A-U. And for a treasure hunter like me, I love the fact that it's gold and black. And it starts off with A-U some. Yeah, I want some gold too. And this is the awesome leopard. This is an off-road e-scooter. And it is a beast. It has a thousand watt brushless motor and it's got a 48 volt 20.8 amp hour battery that'll take you about 52 miles on a single charge and the max speed on this thing is 34 miles an hour let me show you a little bit of the features here you can tell it's an off-road scooter it's got 10 inch tires right there and take a look at the suspension system it has a swing arm suspension system on the front and the rear a nice wide deck it'll handle both of my feet no problem this area right here you just lift up and that's your charging port that's built really durable i like that a lot you have the front light the side light along with the turn signals and the rear light as well Here is the cockpit area, right here the key, turns it on, just turn it on, and this function button right here, you just press down and hold it, and it turns it on. It's got three speed levels, one will take you 9 miles an hour, two will take you 22 miles an hour, and three will take you 34 miles an hour. Trust me, level three is kind of scary a little bit. This button right here, if you turn it on, turns on your headlamp. You can see a nice bright headlamp. It actually has lights all the way around it. And you can see the tail light right there. This right here is the turn signals. You can see the flashing light there and the flashing light there. It looks much better in the nighttime. And this button here is your horn. Just in case you need to let somebody know you're sneaking up behind them because this thing is ultra quiet. Those 10 inch soft rubber tires are super quiet, super smooth, and it just feel like you're flying. You have two brakes. So the left side is for the rear brake and the right side is for your front brake. And it has an internal e-braking system to help you slow down. One of the really cool features is, let me show you here. I know it's a little dirty because I've taken it off road already today, but that is a drive wheel right there. The rear wheel is a drive wheel, but guess what guys, for $150, you can order the drive wheel and you can put it on the front, making this thing an all wheel drive scooter. And I'm not sure if you could see on there, I'm gonna have to go to another location to do so, but it says single right there. But with the two motors on there, it'll say dual. And you can program it to where it's running single or dual when you have that second drive on there. All right, so let's take this thing out. All I gotta do is turn the key on, hold down the uh, function button to where everything pops up. I'm in level one as far as the speed goes, which should get me to about nine miles an hour. I'm gonna bump it to level two, but the difference between level one and two is substantial meaning level one will get me up to nine miles an hour and level two will take me to 22 miles an hour where level three will take me up to 34 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna need the brakes going down this thing for sure. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. I had a duck underneath that. I'm not used to doing that. Handles this really well no problem you know for an off-road scooter it's very smooth very agile for sure easily maneuverable but it's got a lot of torque it went up that slope real good i had it back off on the gas to see if i can catch some air on this well it's certainly handling this dirt trail really well i'm afraid to get too fast on this thing really it really is got a lot of torque i hit that throttle just a little bit it wants to go
I'm doing 18 miles an hour right now and it's flying through here. Slow down just a little bit here. That made me a little nervous. Right now I'm at 18 miles an hour, 1920. We're cruising right along here at 20 miles an hour. And I'm flying through here with comfort. I'm gonna slow down through here just a little bit because I really don't need to hurt myself. <laughs> but I did want to give it a good test and I think that was a pretty good test. Okay, we made it to the beach. I'm in number one. So it's got three speed levels. Number one will take you nine miles an hour. We're level two, which I just hit this function button one time, takes me to level two. It's supposed to take me to 22 miles an hour. Either way, I can feel the torque on this thing just go. It is super strong. Let me show you a little bit of beach here. See, I am lucky to live near very, very busy beaches. And these beaches are busy year round, but it is summertime, so the volume is triple than what it is normally. I really want to test this, but I can't do it on the beach path, so we're going to have to take it onto the road. And I better go on the street because this thing goes really quick. I'm actually going to go all the way to the street because I am going to be going faster than the speed limit to give this thing a good test. I am wearing the Outdoor Masters helmet. I'm at level two right now and I maxed out at 22 miles an hour. I just shifted to number three on here and at 27 miles an hour, 28 miles an hour, I'm a pretty big guy and I'm going uphill. I just reached 29 miles an hour, still doing 28 miles an hour and I'm starting to go up a little bit steeper of a slope. Let's see how it handles on here. A lot of scooters. They don't handle slopes very good. So I'm doing really well. I did have to hit the brakes here. Take this turn, see how well it does. I am in level three and right now going up this slope, I am doing 12, 13, 14 miles an hour. And this is above a 25% grade for sure. It's actually a fairly steep hill. I know on the GoPro that it doesn't show, but it certainly is a steep hill. And once I level out, I start going much faster because I'm almost to 20 miles an hour already. I think you guys see that 21 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour, 25, 26. And I feel like I want to surf it at 26 miles an hour. It definitely feels good. It's a little on the scary fast, but I'll tell you as a big guy, I'm having a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, 29 miles an hour right now. That's the fastest I've gotten on this thing. Will I get to 30? I hit 30. 31. 32 miles an hour, 33 miles an hour. All right, I gotta slow down a little bit. So when I come up on the sidewalk here, I wanna make sure I'm in one. Level one gets me about eight to nine miles an hour. Almost a little bit faster than walking speed or jogging speed. But if I bump it to level two, I can go up to 22 miles an hour. It's a big swing. That's a big shift, right? So I almost keep it in level two, but the, the throttle is super sensitive. See if I hit it, it really goes. Almost feels like it wants to pull the front wheel off the ground. It has that much torque, but it also has excellent 
maneuverability. See this? Look at that. Almost as easy as walking. Included in the box is the hardware to mount the seat. It does have the mounting bracket. That's what these four holes are. I taped the baggie of screws on there so I wouldn't lose them just in case I do want to mount the seat at some point. But it is a nice big comfortable seat with a big spring on there. Easy to install. Only takes four screws. Super easy and if you want to just loosen it up, pop it down, hit that button, it folds right on over with the seat on it. Then you fold down the handlebars and you can put it right in the trunk of your car. Here is a photo from the website. As you can see, here's the mounting bracket and the seat. Super easy to install. It only takes four screws. Go right in and now you have a seat. It looks very, very comfortable. And not only that, it folds right on over. See how easy everything folds up? The seat folds down, the handlebars fold down, easily fits in the back of your trunk, so you can go on your next adventure. And I've had a blast today with the awesome Leopard e-scooter. It is a fantastic beast of a scooter. That thing is so awesome, guys. If you're interested in one of these awesome Leopard e-scooters, all you gotta do is look in this video's description. I'll include some links and any discount codes. And guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell, and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at this video right here.